So the lens, kind of like the pupil, can also change shape. Uh, the difference is the pupil is a whole. Um, the lens is actually a physical structure, right? Kind of like the lens of a magnifying glass, um, kind of like glass that can refract light. So change how light rays are coming in to change where that light hits in the eyeball. So the lens can either become round, rounder, or flat. And then anything in between these two. Um, that's going to allow light to refract differently and hit the eye differently. Now this happens, this changes in lens shape, which is called accommodation, because of the ciliary muscles, which are smooth muscles, this band here, that either contract or relax to cause this lens shape change. Um, this is pulling on these fibers here. These are zonular fibers. You saw these black stuff in the cow eye um, was actually more even obvious than the ciliary muscles themselves. Um, the ciliary muscles were covered in black stuff as well. So this contraction relaxation occurs based on where we're looking at objects, where, they're, where, they, where they are far or near. And it is, they're gonna be regulated by the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve, their contraction or relaxation. So that's the basic idea of lens accommodation. We're going to look at a little bit of physics to understand why we need this to happen. So we care about the focal point. In our eye, we have we want to focus where? On the fovea. So we want our lens to be able to refract light rays onto our fovea. That's the focal point. This is showing light from a far away object um, results in at lens uh, like shape X, um, let's actually do this. So shape X, like that's how fat around it is, X, um, results in focal distance. Let's, let's do X and Y, Y. But if we have a close source that changes the focal distance. So this is lens still X, shape X, it hasn't changed. So our focal distance is now Z. And if that was our eye, we wouldn't be able to focus, see that image very well because it's behind our retina. So what happens is our lens changes shape or accommodates. In this case, it fattens, rounds, becomes more rounded. So lens shape is now X2 and focal distance, uh, it's hard to see actually because my, um, pictures are off, this should be Y again. We're back to, or actually this is a different scenario here. Let's say it's back to what we want. It's, the point is um, the lens is becoming rounded to shorten the focal distance. So the lens changes shape to refract light at a certain focal point. That's the basic idea. How this looks in terms of kind of eye scenarios, um, this is a little bit better, similar idea, better picture. Um, for close vision, that's over here. So we've got um, our lens is rounded when the thing is close. And this is because the ciliary muscles are contracted. And this is the right setup to focus on the phobia. For more distant vis vision, so this is like this scenario over here, we've got our lens flat, flatter, and our ciliary muscles are relaxed. Where is the focal point? Still on the phobia, that's what we want. Um, of course, there's a spectrum in between this, so you can see and focus on images at far and near distances and everything in between. What happens when your lens doesn't do this correctly? If it's not refracting light correctly on the phobia? This is pretty common. This is called needing glasses. So there's two different basic terms here. There's a lot of other reasons you could need glasses that I'm not going to talk about, but these basic reasons are myopia, this is nearsightedness, sightedness. This means you can't see far. 
well enough. Um, you can see near, but can't see far. So this happens when either the eyeball is too long, um, too deep. So it could be an anatomical thing, um, like a genetic anatomical thing, or the lens is too round. And really, really it's a combination of those two. The lens is too round for this eye. Um, so we are not able to focus on far away things. The other scenario here is called hyperopia. This is called being farsighted, farsighted. And this is when the lens is too flat for the eye, for the eye. And the eyeball is too um, short. But those are working together, right? The lens ideally would be able to round to accommodate for the eye anatomy. So in this case, we can't see near. So what do we do? Well, we need to put in a lens. This is where it gets to be some physics. Well, more physics. Oops, I have that pop up there. Um, to make these light rays not focus too near. So this is the, the point nearsightedness. The point is too close. The, the focal distance is too short. We're going to have a diverging lens concave lens that causes these light rays to go out like this. That's what your glasses are going to look like or, or contacts. A lens that diverges light because your lens, your, your um, lens isn't doing it well enough itself. For, so this is actually in the middle. You can kind of think of this as flatter. We're adding flatness to our lens that's too round. In the case of hyperopia, we need a lens that's going to um, converge the light. So we have subtle, but these rays are going slightly in. That's because we're adding roundness. Um, a lens that converges lights adds roundness to our lens, which is too flat. So that's the basic idea of being nearsighted or farsighted. Um, there are actually you know, quite complicated other reasons for needing glasses as well.